Realme GT 5G. Ito na siya. Ang top of the line ni Realme. Realme's best phone like ever. Usually kapag may GT, pang racing yan. Napakabilis daw. And yes, sobrang bilis niya. Guys, ito na yung pinakamurang Snapdragon 888 na phone that you can buy today. Meron pa siyang 120Hz Super AMOLED display. Di lang AMOLED, Super AMOLED. And get this. Sony 64MP triple camera setup Yes! Tapos na! Tinan nyo naman yan! Box pa lang! Sobrang special na niya! This is Realme's most special box to date Hindi siya yung ordinary yellow lang It is screaming! Premium! Flagship quality all over! Kasi na naman sabi ko It's over! Dalawa pala yun! Tanga! Kapal sa pins! And you're watching Unbox Diaries! Okay, so let's unbox it. Realme GT, malaking Realme 5G. Oh my God, grabe ang branding dito. Nakailang Realme na siya. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Grabe ka naman Realme. Sobra ka naman sa branding. Alam naman namin yan. You don't have to push it all over the box. Dapat nung kayahin si smartphone box. Ayan. As in, wala halos lahat. Pero ang daming views. But yes, I really like the design of the box. Sobrang ganda, sobrang premium na nating at ganito sa likod. Kanyang tapat ang itsura ng specs sa likod ng isang box. I got here the color dashing blue. Sayang nga, sana. I wanted the yellow. But there's three colors. Merong siyang blue, may silver, at merong yellow. 8, 1 to 8 ang aking configuration dito. Ito na. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. Ayan ang pinaka-special na welcome note ni Realme. Pinakaiba lang, mas malaking letters at mas bold. Alam nyo ba, si Vin Diesel daw ay gusto gusto si Realme GT Kasi, Realme Family Realme is family! Family! Tama na yung kalokohan Ito na siya Wow, a very big and long small box Ito yung SIM ejector pin And sa loob, the papers Meron siyang quick guide Special yun guys, GT version na quick guide At meron siyang safety information guide GT version din, mas makapal At yung kanyang jelly case, smoke Gray, transparent. Guys, tignan nyo naman yan. This is the Realme GT Jelly Case. Ano ang special sa kanya? Na lang, ordinary jelly case lang siya. Hindi, wow. Pero kasi, jelly case siya ni Realme GT. Siya lang ang magkasya dito. Pero mayan yan. Check out that packaging, that box. Kailangan, balik ko lang ha. Kailangan. Look at that box. And dito yung kanyang makapal na kable. Oh my God. Ang kapal. Kable pa lang. Flagship na flagship na. Eto na. Ang kanyang super dart charger. Guys, 65 watt. Ang daming watt no na. Now what makes this special is that meron siyang Realme logo pati dito sa kanyang charger. Para saan yan? Watermark yan guys. Para just in case malayo sa ibang box. Malalaman kay Realme to. Yung mga ibang box kasi iba na yung charger na kasama kapag binigay sa inyo. Just making sure si Realme. But probably the best for me is this. Ito lagi ang nakalimutan ng mga ibang brands. Learn from Realme, my friends. Always include a pair of earphones in the box. Instant sell yan. I can assure you, sold out ka agad if meron kang ganito. Tignan naman yan. Ang ganda ng design. Meron pa siyang microphone. And uy, headphone jack. This is getting interesting. And that, my friends, is the reason kung bakit number one si Realme. Dashing blue. Nice. Ito na siya. Bagong-bago pa. Amoy. Gran Turismo or Gran Tourer. My God. That is so beautiful. Naka in love. I have to say, no? I'm not really impressed with the design from Realme phones. That is, until now, that is. Ulit-ulit. But seriously, yung design ay napakaganda. It's a 3D-like glass back design. It feels very smooth. No? Hindi siya ma-friction. Although iba yung kanyang effect, no? Compared to sa kanyang gold color. This is uh, a little bit different. Meron siyang hour effect kapag katinatama ng ilaw. But yes, it looks really mamahalin. Ito ay tunay na glass guys. Hindi to plastic. And the body is, uh, I think it's plastic. Yes, might be kasi wala mga linya-linya. That is antenna bands. Kailangan malinya ang inyong mga sides para malaman kung uh, metal siya. Now, yung kanyang itsura is mukha pa rin siyang Realme phone. If you've seen the Realme 8, Realme 7, they pretty much look like this. Pero, mas pinabong ka lang yung itsura, mas pinashiny, mas pinaglass ang back. Premium din yung kanyang feel sa likod. Although sa sides, ramdam mo na 
This is kind of plasticky. It still has some weight to it, no? Medyo may bigat siya. Also, gradient yung kanyang design sa likod. Sa gitna lang, medyo light yung color. Tapos sa sides, medyo dark black. At ayun nga, meron siyang CE dito showing that it is a global version, di ba? Alam nyo yun? Global, pag may CE. At sa right side niya, meron pa siyang address. Just in case daw masira yung yung phone, pwede nyo ibalik kay Realme Chongqing Mobile Telecommunications Corp. Ano yung kaya ito eh? Pero yun, napansin ko sa sides, no? Parang mas social siya. Mas nalo tayong blue na effect. Nag-wave. Wow, I like it. Nice. And yes, what about the camera? 64MP Sony camera yung likod niya. That is a Sony IMX682 sensor. Meron pa siyang 8MP ultrawide angle lens and 2MP macro lens. And look at that. Meron siyang dual tone flash sa likod. Meron siyang warm and meron siyang white. And get this, pati ultimo yung kanyang sides, meron pagka-blue. Wow. Now going over the sides, meron siyang power button sa right side, may microphone sa taas, volume rocker sa left side, ayun yung SIM tray niya, and yung kanyang SIM tray ay dual nano SIM card slot. This is, by the way, 5G na pala, no? Pero wala siyang micro SD card slot. Yun lang. Bummer. So if I were you, go get the 256 gigs version. Sa ilalim, ayun. Yan ang inanap ko. Head phone jack. Ito yung nawabala sa Realme Super Zoom X3 last year. Tama ba yun? Realme X3 Super Zoom? Basta, para sa akin, sobrang importante ng headphone jack kasi lahat ng aking headphones pwede kong gamitin dito. Hindi pa rin ako sanay. Wireless. Meron pa siyang microphone dito. USB Type-C port and yung loudspeaker. At ito na siya. The display. Oh my God. I'm so excited about the display kasi ito is Super AMOLED display. 120Hz at 1080p pa. The screen is bright. Colorful. Maganda yung contrast. Talagang buong buong yung colors. Malakas ang dating niya para sa akin. Pero kasi ang napansin ko dito is mukha pa rin siyang the usual Realme interface which makes me feel na sana ginawa na lang special ito kasi nga meron si entry level nito. Meron si mid-range phone. Essentially, what you're getting on a entry level or mid-range phone ay kaparehas lang dito sa Realme GT. Pero the difference, lahat lang ay mas mabilis na. As in, super bilis lahat. Mabilis magpalipat-lipat ng apps. Ang smooth tingnan sa Facebook. Everything looks very smooth. This has got to be the smoothest Realme phone I have ever reviewed so far. And look at that. Meron na agad siyang Amazon apps dito. Also, yung display ay kamukha-kamukha talaga ni Realme 8. It still definitely looks like a mid-range Realme phone. I guess they still wanted you to feel that ito pa rin ay isang Realme phone pero napakabilis lang. Ayun siguro yun. Pero okay lang kung Realme fan ka naman talaga. Magusto mo to. Pero kung Xiaomi fan ka, alam ko magbabash ka. Para ko nasabi? Kasi alam kong kahit gaano kaganda man ang phone, kahit gaano siya kalamang, hindi mo matanggap. Kasi wala ka pambili. <coughs> Okay. Sagapin nyo ako. May init na ang ating unboxing ngayon. Napaka-init na. Ha. Pero payo ko, huwag natin mag-bash ng mga katalang ng produkto ng ibang brands. Lahat naman sila may iba't ibang strengths and weaknesses. They're not all perfect. But at least you will meet tumutulong talaga sa public. Ang malaga, we respect each other's choices. Kasi nga, pero nyo yan eh. Pero nyo yan. Pero ito. My money, my choice. Kung gusto ko ng overpriced, edi overpriced, marami akong pera. Now going back to the display, no? Napaka-smooth nga ng kanyang display. Very fast, very responsive. If you're looking for a Realme phone talaga, pero yun lang, nakulangan ka. Gusto mo talaga na isang flagship experience. Ito na yun. Finally, giving you the best that Realme can offer. Ngayon, gaano makabilis ang kanyang performance? Snapdragon 888. Guys, alam niyo ba sobrang swerte ng 8? The number sa China. Tapos, ginawa pa nalang tatlo. 888. Well, the performance is stellar, 769,000 points on Tutu Benchmark. That is actually the biggest number at this price. And then, I tried Mobile Legends with this, and this is what I was looking for. Guys, finally, right out of the box, isang flagship phone na merong ultra graphics sa Mobile Legends. OMG! Meron siyang HFR mode, and look at the graphics guys, napakaganda kung mahili ka mag Mobile Legends. Ang sarap maglaro dito. Unang-una, ang smooth-smooth na likod niya. Super smooth. I love playing like this. Hindi siya umiinit sa Mobile Legends kasi nga, hindi naman gano'ng kabigat si Mobile Legends. Pero, it can maximize the performance in this game. 60 frames per second, consistent. The graphics is complemented by a very beautiful, very vibrant, very sharp-looking Super AMOLED display. And by God, it looks so beautiful on this phone. At ayun nga, flat yung kanyang display. Which means, maganda siya for gaming kasi wala siyang mistouches na mangyayari. Sa lahat ng Realme phones, dito ako nag-enjoy ng sobra. Also, the screen is not too big. Sakto ka na yung size ng phone. It is a 6.43 inch phone. At napansin ko rin yung maganda yung kanyang game space. Meron siyang touch optimization dito. May mga performance mode. Also, napansin ko sa game space, meron pa siyang brightness lock. Adjusting of resolution. Meron pa siyang quick startup na pwede niyang i-startup na mabilis yung yung frequently used na game. At pwede pa niyang enhance yung graphics ng inyong 
game. Meron siya dito. Yan. Yan ang inarap ko sa isang gaming UI. Sa Call of Duty naman, hanggang very high graphics lang. Pero, max frame rates naman. Masarap din maglaro ng Call of Duty dito. Yung speaker, saktuhan lang. They sound okay, not too loud. Pero good news, it is stereo speakers, guys. Dalawa yung speakers niya, meron sa baba, and meron sa earpiece banda. At ayun nga, ang ganda ng graphics sa Call of Duty. This is really looking beautiful. Kaya lang, this is not the best graphics setting na makuha mo sa Call of Duty. There are other gaming phones that provide that max setting. Pero para sa akin, okay na to. Maganda din graphics niya. Sold na ako dito. If, uh... Pero para naman, sa Genshin Impact. Kaya na ba niya? Maraming cellphone ang hirap sa Genshin Impact. Kaya sabi mo ang Snapdragon 870, 860, hindi pa nila kaya masyado. Pero kasi si 880 talaga, kayang-kaya na niya. Even at the high settings, pumapalo siya ng 50 to 60 frames per second. Kaya lang, napansin ko talaga na hindi talaga siya uminit. Kaya talaga ng smartphone talaga uminit sa game na to at high settings. At yan ang dahilan kung paano talaga sa PC or sa PS5 kasi nga, bigger systems, better cooling, and has more power. But if you're a person who loves playing games on the go, ayun ako, this is the best that you can buy for the price. 888 kasi, pwede na yung RAM, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, marami pang mada-download dito, at marami ka ng pictures na pwedeng makuha ng dito. Well, speaking of pictures, how is that Sony 64MP camera? Well, here it is. Now, I would say this has got to be the best cameras on a Realme phone. Well, simply because kadalasan mga Realme phones ay mid-range lamang. I mean, look at the details. Wow! Grabe yung details. Okay lang din yung color. But I think the best kanya is talagang pang-picture ng tao. Kasi nga, anything na mapicture niya na tao, talagang pumapogi. Nagiging artista. Medyo impressed ako sa kanyang camera, no? Very sharp. Very detailed. Maganda yung skin tone. Very natural. It also makes you look fresh. Ayun. So, kung mabaho ka sa itong buhay, well... Mabaho ka na lang. Pero sa picture, mabaho ka. At mukhang fresh. Pero hmm, I think this is an extension of the super zoom. Kasi nga, ang zoom niya is up to 20 times. Nakita ko dito, wow. Talaga makita mo yung mga nagtatago kung saan saan at may ginagawa, kakabalaghan. I mean, other than a moonshot, hindi ko pa rin alam kung ano yung gamit ng super zoom sa sa buhay. Other than manilip. Medyo pa. Kung ano yung night mode is merong AI. And meron pro mode. Pro mode na meron ka pang extra features that gives you extra control to enhance your night mode. Pero hmm, ang kanyang extra settings dito ay pretty much similar to the Realme 8 Pro. Saktuhan lang. And get this, kaya niya mag-record up to 4K 60 frames per second. I guess yun yung kanyang advantage from its mid-range friends. Yung video pala niya, no? Very stable, no? Napakaganda. Yun nga lang, sa 4K 60 frames per second, bawal ang electronic stabilization. Pero otherwise, this has got to be the best vlogging camera for 20,000 pesos. Kasi nga, kahit saan pa nung sandalhin, and poking boy ka ba, laging fresh, and tulad sinabi ko, kahit mabaho ka sa picture or sa video, hindi nila maamoy, mukha pa rin mabango. Now speaking of mabango, napakabango na kanyang presyo. Ang presyo niya, 449 euros, that is about 26,800 pesos, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, meron pa siyang 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage, which is 599 euros. Almost 36,000 pesos, pero okay na ako sa 8128. 26,000 pesos, wow. Pero yan ay European price. It was released in Europe, pero sa Philippines, hindi pa siya sure. Hindi pa sure si Realme Philippines. Pero sana, maingganyo kayo sa phone na to. Pero if nagusto niyo yung phone, baka tumaas yung demand, then baka mag-consider si Realme na ilabas na sa ating bansa. And baka lang, mas mura kasi nga, Philippine pricing eh. Sabi niyo sa akin kung okay sa inyo si Realme GT 5G. Kasi para sa akin, napakaganda niya. It's crazy. Currently the best out there, the best Realme phone. Oh, pala yung battery is 4,500 milliamperes. Meron siya 65 watts of fast charging, which is about 35 minutes from 0 to 100% as advertised. Here's me praying, no? Na lumabas si Realme GT sa ating bansa. Kasi nga napansin ko, wala lang kasunod si Super Zoom. Ito na yung sumunod. Supportahin na lang natin si Realme guys para mag-push na to. At kung gusto mo mga katanong mga reviews nito, or may ibang cellphones ko dito, or kung gusto mag-request ng isang cellphone na i-review, let me know guys in the comments below. Para hindi mo ma-miss ang any of my videos and reviews, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon. Kita-kits na lang tayo sa next video. Upload si Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo!